Taylor, if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we get into new makeup, new hair, new products, whatever the case may be, we get into it all. So in today's video, I'm back with another wig review. In today's wig that I will be reviewing, Sensational Cloud 9 Swiss Lace Wig in Letitia. So I've already kind of taken her out of her packaging, but this is the stock card. This is what the wig looks like. Um, she is in the color Flamboyage Chocolate. And if you couldn't also tell about the thumbnail, the inspiration for me trying this wig out today is replicating the way the lovely Queen Bee looked in some of her most recent photos she posted on her Instagram while she was, I think, out of the country. Nonetheless, uh, I when I saw her hair, I knew I wanted to recreate it and I knew I wanted to use a synthetic wig because synthetic wigs are so voluminous just like how her hair looks and um, just to keep on having fun with some of these units. So if you wanna see how I applied this wig, how I achieved that Queen Bee look, um, my thoughts on this wig in general to keep on watching. Achieved. You all know that I am inspired by Beyonce's most recent photo. She's posted to her Instagram with her half up, half down look. But baby, let's get into this hair. So once again, this was a lot of hair. I don't know what it is about me and why I'm attracted to these units with a whole lot of hair. Like when I turn to the back, it's very, very curly. I don't even know if Beyonce had this many curls, but it's very, very curly. It's, it's big hair. It's big hair vibes, and I love it. So I don't know how we feel about this color. I don't know how I feel about this color. I chose this color because I wanted the color of my hair to be as close to Beyonce's as possible. I knew I wasn't gonna get Beyonce's signature blonde hair, but I wanted to pick something as close to it. And I saw some other people try this particular color who are also, you know, beautiful brown women. And so I thought, okay, it, it'll probably look good on me then. So I don't think the color looks bad. I just don't think I'm in love with it. But I do have ever love how voluminous this unit is. Um, and then, first of all, I tried to show you all the parting. Did y'all see the parting on this wig? It looks so freaking natural. I almost kind of wish, even though I got this wig to achieve the Beyonce hairstyle, I do kind of wish that like this wig, and it, it probably does exist, but I do wish this wig kind of like stopped about right here. 
and then if I do that like half, like the bang to the side kind of look, that actually is beautiful. Um, this not, this is a kinky textured wig, and it, it definitely, if you didn't know that this wasn't my natural hair, you might not be able to tell the difference. Let's get into some of the information discussed in the stock card. So, like I said, this is a this is a part of the Sensational Swiss Lace Collection. It is like, it's a customized hairline, which I would say like, you know, I don't really like to go in and plug. I almost like look for units that don't need too much of uh, rescuing. Could I pluck it? Probably, and it will probably look even more natural, but I feel like it looks pretty good even without me having to pluck it. Um, it says it has an undetectable lace, which I have to agree with. It doesn't really have a detectable lace unless you're super close up on me. It comes in about nine colors, but like I said, I have the flamboyage chocolate one. So I, you know, if you feel in this color, I would encourage you to go and get it. So I purchased this wig from Shop Hair Wigs. Um, Cause you know, just like most synthetic units, everybody and their mother is trying to buy them and wear them. So they're like sold out everywhere. So when I find it, I just, I just gotta go for it. I have personally never heard of Shop Hair Wigs. I feel like when I tend to buy synthetic units, I go to the same couple places, wig types, Elevate Styles or Sam's Beauty. So Shop Hair Wigs is new to me. So I'm gonna link it down below. Um, this color was available and there may be some other colors available as well that you may be interested in trying. Um, how much did I pay for this? I paid about $57 um, plus plus shipping and handling for this unit. I think this unit is about 45 to, I think this unit ranges from 45 to $56 anyhow. So I think that's not too bad for a synthetic unit. And um, I, you get so much hair with this. You get so much hair. I'm going to try my best to make this last. I've been noticing my unit starts getting really tangly because this is a very long unit, I showed you all where it comes to my back. Because this is a very long unit, this is not something that can be worn all the time. This has to be worn occasionally or else it will start to tangle a lot in the nape area. Um, simply, I only pretty much put on my wigs when I get dressed up for the camera. So I'm pretty sure this will last me a long time. But I wanna also wear this wig again just to you know, play with the parting space because it was a lot of parting space. And it looked really natural, it was giving all scalp. Even though I did do the ball cap method, I feel like even without it, because the next time I put it on, I probably won't do a ball cap method. Even without it, it's getting scalped. It looks so good. So that is all that I have on this unit. I really like it. Don't know if I'm crazy about the color. I do like how it turned out. I do love that I was able to achieve the Queen Bee style. And um, if you like this style, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, let's be friends. Let's subscribe to the channel for more hair content. I have some other synthetic wig reviews up on my channel currently. And let's stay connected on socials at Taylorraine. Um, that is it for today's video. I love you, stay beautiful, and stay safe.